crisper and more accurate than the champion. If it weren't so impossible to believe that Buster Douglas would knock out Mike Tyson, you might have begun to say in the middle rounds that it was nearly inevitable as Tyson's eye closed and as he began to wobble in the inside exchanges. But nevertheless, given the history of the champion, you continued to wait and wait for the moment when he would, with sudden fierceness, be able to turn things around. And he did knock Douglas down with an uppercut at the end of round eight. But Douglas came back to outclass Tyson in face-to-face -face exchanges throughout round nine. And then in the tenth, he took over once again and finished Tyson with the combination you saw. That was a turning point, Jim. When he was knocked down in the eighth round, Douglas was, and he came back strong in the ninth round. A heart as big as Japan's economic power. 23 seconds in round number 10. The winner by way of knockout, the new heavyweight champion of the world, James Buster Douglas. is with the new champion. Larry, if you can hear me, take it away. It's all yours. All right, I'm with Buster Douglas. Buster, Buster Douglas, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Can you believe that? Uh, yeah, it's happening. Oh, take this out. Why did it happen, James? Because I wanted it. Why? Why did you win this fight that nobody on the planet gave you? Because it's mother. In what mother. way? God bless the heart. Yeah. Let him go, Larry. After he got knocked down, I said, you go. can't let, let him go. beat. You want to go, James? No, let him talk. Number one, boy. Are you saying, I mean, you came out here more animated than we've ever seen you, more focused than we've ever seen you, and you're crediting it to the fact that the death of your mother just what? Focused your mind what? <laughs> I was already focused, you know. Well, what surprised you from the get-go? What did you? What were you going to try to do from the get-go? That's what I did. Whoop his ass. You know. I mean, you come to fight, I come to fight. I told you in the, in the room. I said that it was time for James Jones to come out out of the closet. But, but it seems you had. But you know, I told you that I also had times where I had great fights that would come back with two or three different fights. I was mediocre, you know, and I would leave a lot of doubt. I don't blame you guys. You guys go on what you see. You understand? But I know, and my people know, that he what the real great. James Douglas is all about. Every every challenger you, for Mike Tyson says the same thing. But you did something in there. I told to, you. I told to you to neutralize him. Why am I no? Why am I no? Why am I Thank you, Jesus. All right, just one moment. I told, you, I told you in the room, I said, but you they weren't James Douglas. But you didn't let him get off. It seemed every time he wanted to throw a punch, either you beat him to it or you smothered him. Was that the idea? Well, I just did what I did, you know. I went out there and fought my fight. All right. Now, yeah, very instinctive, very instinctive. All right, now you had him, but you get knocked down. At the well, end yeah, you know, and that, that was a good shot. I mean, you know, like I said before, a man over 200 pounds has a good shot. Did he? Did you get careless? Did you think you I think had so. Made? That was just starting to get real relaxed, you know, and I got I got shook. I mean, well, I got hurt, hit, and I came back, you know, sucked it up. Because I knew I had him also. You know, I knew he was, every time he would try to get off, I would come back, you know, and, and offset him by beating him to his punch. You know, because Mike, well, early, early in the fight, you know, Mike would come out, you know, and, and throw his big shots. You know, so what I would do is just, you know, go go with him and come back with my own. You know, and another thing, I was very relaxed. I wasn't afraid of the man. I feared no man because I believe in God. That's the only man I fear. You know, thank God. I give this praise to the Lord Jesus right, Christ. But you, but you, but you know, you know that you're in there with Mike Tyson after the knockdown. Did you think he would come on, or did you know you had to stop his momentum at that point? Well, yeah, I knew he was gonna come because he's a champion. I mean, he's gonna suck it up and come and get me. You know. And, and 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 I was ready for it. I was aware, I was aware of everything. You know, I was totally aware of everything. And Dad, this one is for you. I love you. Yeah. Well, could you see the confusion in his eyes? You, you, one of his well, eyes I was see, closed. Well, I seen that early on. You know, because of the stiff jab. You know, I was just letting him run into the jab because 
you know, speed. I have, I have tremendous speed. I have tremendous, tr tremendous ability. As I told you earlier in the uh, room, I said, well, you know, I'm conditioned to go 12 rounds. And that's what I was conditioned for. That's why I was able to get up from the knockdown. You know, it was a good shot. You know, I, I gave him all respect for that. You know, but when I got up, it was like, well, it's time to go ahead and get him out of there. You hit him with Because I got careless. I got careless, Larry. You know, I started, you know, getting in control of everything. And then all of a sudden, he caught me with a good shot. You took some fearsome, he took some fearsome punches. Yeah. Yeah. This is a dream, man. This is a truly a dream. I swear to God, this is a dream. No. This is a dream, man. Put the belt on. This is truly a dream, man. I watched you on HBO a thousand times putting belts on guys or you know interviewing guys, and I said one day it's gonna be me. One day it's gonna be me, and thank God that it was me today. You, 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 God. you hit him with some fearsome punches, I hit him some great shots, early, and he Larry, didn't go. I, well, yeah, well that's all. Well, that's great. That's great because you understand. Like my dad said, you know, you hit him with shots. Let him take it. Like, oh, okay. You want to take a shot? Guy. Yeah, be a tough guy. Just keep chopping on him. Just keep chopping on him. And eventually he's going to go. And that's what happened. As you've seen over there, he was flat on his ass. That's right. Yeah. I think that tells the whole story, Jim. Mike Tyson, flat on his whatever you want to call it. Jim. Rodney, I love you, Rodney. James Buster Douglas, 29 years old, Columbus, Ohio undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Well, if you're a sports fan, you know you've seen it dozens of times. How many times has a story so sentimental, so poignant, so emotionally powerful, seemed to simply take over reality and tell itself? Surely, the sentimentalist in all of us wanted to believe that in the wake of the death of his mother, amid the difficulties being suffered by the mother of his child, James Buster Douglas could step forth today with a performance unlike any other in his entire career and compete with Mike Tyson. Surely the realist in all of us said no, that wasn't really possible. But indeed it was possible, and it happened. And an inspired Buster Douglas thoroughly dominated Mike Tyson and courageously came back from an eighth round knockdown to turn around and knock the champion out himself. Larry Merchant, it has to be one of the greatest and most memorable moments in the history of the sport. Well, it certainly is. Uh, I wish it had been in the States after all this, but Buster Douglas is an athlete. He played football and, 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 high, and basketball in high school. He had a scholarship as a power forward to a junior college. He has had some ability, and I was very moved by the way he said he did it also for his dad. His dad was a terrific, spirited fighter, middleweight and light heavyweight, and was never satisfied with his son, who seemed to be so casual about it. But for whatever human reason possible, for someone to surpass his own, his own ability, to surpass uh, anything that he can ever do before, in this moment, at this moment, uh, that's what makes this sport uh, so terrific. Right now, a chance for us to talk with the man who ranks along with Mike Tyson for the moment as today's biggest loser, Evander Holyfield, number one contender in the eyes of all three governing bodies and a man who had a contract for a guaranteed $11 million to fight Mike Tyson on June 18. Evander, your reaction to what you just saw? Well, it was, it was a great fight on Douglas' part. He went out and fought his fight and fought a very smart fight, and he proved that he wanted to be the champion. As much as it hurt you economically, to see what happened, did you find yourself somewhere in your heart inspired by what Buster was doing? Well, well, my goal was to be the heavyweight champion of the world and not just to fight Mike Tyson. And I came into this fight with an open mind, and I knew that Buster Douglas was a smart fighter and a good puncher. And he proved, proved today that I, he wanted to be the champion, and he's one of the first fights that Mike Tyson had to reach deep down inside and try to pull it out. Larry? Are you suggesting, Amanda, that uh, when he reached deep down inside, there wasn't enough there? Well, it's proved that it wasn't enough. Uh, Buster Douglas was the superior fighter today. He, he, he outsmarted Tyson and outfought Tyson. Well, let's let's talk about that. Amid all the go ahead, Larry. And you're saying he also outgutted him because he was knocked down with a terrific punch himself. Well, yeah, the bell the bell helped him a lot because of that yeah. uppercut was a great a great uppercut, and it proved that Tyson. I had the desire of champion too because he was getting uh, punished throughout the whole fight and he was able to still uh, put up a good fight even though the guy was out punching him. One thing I should throw in here, Jim, is that Evander Holyfield is still the number one ranked heavyweight in the world. 
in, in modern times in boxing, they don't allow rematches right away. Uh, otherwise, uh, it might be considered a monstrous gate with a rematch of Tyson and Douglas. But he's got...